And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, the monster on the mic, Check Monster. And I got a couple guys here with you. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm probably the worst person to ever take fantasy football advice from. It's your favorite superhero, Gary. There you go. And we have the guy that everybody loves to hate. You got my boy. Your boy, the number one in your hearts and number one at the top of this league. Oh, yeah. And your favorite villain. Filter. Okay, okay, filter, filter. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, let's let's get into this a little bit. Let's have a little chats and uh, let, let's mix it up for a little bit here. So what I want to do first is I just want to jump into a quick. We don't have to spend too much time. Um, just a little overview though of last week's matchups and what were the uh, outtakes and what do you guys think? You know, think of them. Um, and uh, let's just start off. So I'll, I'll go through the. I'll, I'll name some matchups and you guys tell me what you thought. We got. Um, what do we have? We had D versus Kenny. Kenny with a dominating victory over D. What did you guys think about that matchup? You're coming in a little bit scratchy. Am I? Yeah. Sound a little bit better now? Try, try it again. A little better now? No, it's coming in like a broken speaker. Yeah, for some reason there you it go. is. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, some reason it's going way off the Richter scales here. Just like Kenny's team. <laughs> oh, yeah? See how I tied that in while, while with with you working out the audio? Boom! Get it right back into the uh, the combo. Perfect. All Just right. like Kenny's team. All right. <laughs> Perfect. So let's go. All right. So uh, Kenny's team erupted. We had what? Murray had forty. Woods didn't do much, which is scary because he only got twelve. McLaren twenty five. Allen oh, after that trade. Good. Yeah, after that trade, you got Allen putting up. Uh, 16, which isn't bad. Elliot had a day, 27. You know, Brown, you know, down a little bit, only uh, seven points. But Waller blew up for 28 points. Connor came out and was a stud. I think he was like 16 for 106 or something stupid. And then uh, the defense and everything else. So, you know, it just these teams didn't do bad, but they just couldn't hold a candle to it. What would you guys think? Did, did Kenny get Terry McLuhan through trade? No, he drafted no. him. Oh, Okay, I thought you said that was a good trade. Uh, no, the trade was Allen. Oh, he yeah. When he made that, you know, I wasn't. I didn't think Herbert was going to get the start yet, and I don't like him with um, Tyrod Taylor. I just don't think he's a good option. But mm-hmm. I think when you put Herbert in, he his potential is now back to being a top twelve receiver, a number one receiver. Yeah, supposed to be next week. Yeah, you know exactly, and that's the thing. So that's why when the trade initially happened, I wasn't big on it. But man, Herbert comes in and he blows up. I mean, he just throws the ball better. So and he goes deeper with it. No, I, I like Kenny Seam. I think Kenny Seam looks really good right now. His only uh, flaws is really Malcolm Brown. I think that's the only thing he needs to fix. I think Hollywood Brown's going to be okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, I know. Oh, he has the running back Malcolm Brown in. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got injured a little bit. I saw M Brown, so I thought it was the receiver because he was in flex. Yeah, but see, he can see Kenny can switch out. Uh, he can take out Malcolm Brown, put Connor in there, and then he can put like John Brown in the flex. Uh, yeah, he has options for sure. Yeah, yeah, Gage. He he has he has stuff in there to work with. Yeah, Gage is is turned out to be pretty decent out there. So I mean, yeah, he definitely has some options. Um, so that's that's for sure. All right, so let's bring it back. It's just like it's just like everything else. Like D's team just didn't, you know, his guys just didn't hit. Slayton blew up last week, didn't do much this week. Uh Landry, you know, so so, but Moster was on his way to a, a big game before he got injured. Yeah. I mean, he still got him twenty points and go he went down. He got Sanders back, so that was a good look on him, you know. So I mean one forty is not horrible. Kenny, no, no, it's not. But Kenny's team, like I said, it's Kenny's team is is on the rise. I mean, I, I get I, you know. Listen, I'm going to throw it out there once, just because I have to. You know, we look at this team that we say is Kenny's team that he, you know, and you know, I know everybody <laughs> laughs about the whole draft with Rob thing, but then you go and look at the Superflex League, and I know we don't talk about it much in here, and I'm not trying to, but then when you go look at the Superflex League and you look at that team that he put together, boy, is it a night and day difference. Yeah, but that that, that I mean, that situation was a little bit different because. I believe him and Rob were both drafting, you know, essentially two two leagues at the same time. So I, I won't chalk all that up to that. Okay, you know, well, uh, okay. Hey, hey, there can be some confusion there. All right, so we're gonna get that's a lot pass. of rush stuff. 
Nah, I mean, we'll give him a pass. And who cares about the Superflex League? This is the main league we're talking about. All right. And his right. team is good. All right. So let's move on to uh, La Flama Blanca and Uncle Bob's Gators. You talk about being, the, you know, the wor first to worst. I mean, yep. man, what happened with Bobby's team this yeah, year? Yeah, I, de I definitely should have lost this game. I'm telling you, I was looking at, I mean, I even posted early, hey, win or lose, it's good for me. Win, obviously a win is great, but a loss will put me number one at the waiver wire. Uh, so I was already planning ahead. I was looking at losing this game. I shouldn't have won this game. When you said flukes, this is a fluke. I, I was shocked. I mean, he, he just that, – that turnaround and, and what happened. I mean, Schuster didn't do much. Perriman got hurt, which, I mean, what we didn't really think him to be great anyway. Kamara blew up. I mean, 41 points. That was awesome. But, yeah. I mean, some of these players came back down to earth. J.K. Dobbins, I mean, honestly, did anybody here think that he was going to be the guy – like from week one and on with Ingram no. there, no, he's just got no. But 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 one. but where but where Dobbins has shown the ability is being the uh, really good at, at catching the ball. And but the only thing is, is like how often are they going to be behind? And we'll see. We'll see Dobbins. I think true colors next week against Kansas City because that's not going to be a game. I think where they're just blowing out Kansas City. Oh so, yeah. Okay. So that's that's where that's how Dobbins scored last year or last week, I believe, is is uh, didn't he get a reception touchdown and a rushing touchdown or two reception touchdowns? Yeah, something like that. But that was a blowout win. So ah, that's true. You know, what I'm saying? which is so weird. He 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 benched Kelly over uh, Sonny Michelle. Sonny Michelle should never start. Yeah, I mean that's the, well, that's the thing I'm looking at. I think this is this is the problem that this week wasn't bad for Sonny Michelle. White was out. He had three points. No, no, you're right. Sonny, it was a bad it, outing, but I'm just kidding. It wasn't Sonny a bad Michelle's time to start off. Sonny Michelle's just not good. Here's the yeah. thing. This is what I, this is my outtake on Bobby's team real quick. All right? He has great starters, okay? But, man, where's his fucking depth at? He has no depth. I mean, you really, if you look at his bench, Sonny Michelle, Bashar Perryman, DeMarcos, uh, Demarcus Robinson, Van Jefferson, Will Disley, Golden Tate, um, Pirine, like – it doesn't like You're listen, right. he's, yeah. he's avoided anything major happening yet. But the one thing we've learned from this week, God well, forbid, I mean, he didn't miss Godwin. Okay. Yes. But what I'm saying is if somebody actually gets injured, injured, what he's, he's in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and that's what worries me about his team is there's not a lot of depth there. So, you know, it's a good team. It's a good looking team, but man, he's got to stay healthy. So I agree with that. You know, yeah. um, I will say, you know, much some, I, I didn't think Gordon for, for Gary's team was going to do as much. Um, Gordon had a pretty decent day, 21 points. That's not a bad day. Nope. Um, I mean, everybody else kind of just did what you kind of expected to, for them to do for the most part, which is funny. It was just like, he didn't have a great game, but it's Bobby's team did so bad that it was enough to win, you know? And I get what you're saying then that you weren't predicting yourself to win because your team, didn't come out and like show out, you know, you did, you, you had a couple players do well, but mm -hmm. you know, overall it was just an average day. Yep. So average is good though. I mean, shit, yeah. you know, one, you just need, I mean, really in all actuality, you yeah. just need like one or two players to, to really blow up and then everybody else just kind of average out and you'll be all right. Yeah. Unless it's and that's my what, team. That's what he had. Yeah. Unless it's my team, then, you know, doesn't matter. I have a guy score 40, you know, and I still lose. But that's a, that's here neither here or there for another day. Um, all right, so no, no, let's go. Let's go there then. Yeah, your team's up next. No, no, no. I, I, my list, it's not. I'm I'm last on the list because it's my, it's it's my computer, so it puts me at the top. So I'm going from bottom to top. All right, so no trade clause. You got uh, Chris versus uh, broke down Bugatti, which is I is, I guess now Zoe. Yeah. He changed his team name. So. You know, let's be honest. I mean, we I think we all know Zoe just had a rough week, but the thing. Ooh. But the Ooh. thing is, is honestly, did he, right? Like, he has a, a tough outlook going forward. But in all reality, his fantasy team didn't have a bad day other than Andrew's shit in the bed. And then nobody saw Hines going from when they have three running backs and being so heavily involved to two One running point. backs and them saying, uh-uh, you're not getting in. Like, who saw that coming? Come on. Well, well, you don't see that coming. But again, it's just one of those things that, Minnesota is just for whatever reason I fucking don't know, but Minnesota is bad, man. Like really, really bad. And 
Indy had control of that game from the jump. So Hines just wasn't wasn't needed. But how would you know that? Like that would any of us predicted that Indianapolis was gonna go in there and smack Minnesota like that? No, no. but I I guess I still would have expected them they didn't seem to have a whole lot of faith in Jonathan Taylor week one, he got sprinkled in behind had running plays in week one, you know, saying for him never to get the ball and get a few carries here and there during that game, regardless if they're in control or not, that was a little surprising for me. So, yeah, but he's going to have, like you said, uh, Zoe's going to do something. Zoe's just not going to wait this out. But the thing is, is McCaffrey still busts out 30. You know what I'm saying? Edelman goes off for freaking 26 points. Boyd had a good game. He was able to flex out. And I know it's not, I mean, if you look at week one, he did better than we, than uh, what's his name? Didn't what, but he got T Smith to take over for, um, Damn, my mind just went blank. Michael Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, for Thomas going out, and he did respectable. It was Andrews and Hines that just killed his week. You yeah. know, because if you look over. No, you know what killed his week oh, is Aaron, Aaron Jones. Jones. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that, I was Aaron looking Jones at it, and I'm like, I don't average. see anybody did that great. Oh, Aaron Jones, yeah. 50 fucking points. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, oh. no, Aaron, Jones week, scores, Aaron, jo- Aaron Jones scores his projection, and uh, Zoe went. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, that I mean, I get what you're saying, but then at the same time, you know, if Andrews scores his projections, right, and Hines scores his projections, Zoe's right there in the game still, you know. So it goes both ways. That mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying, if those players didn't shit the bed, Zoe still could have won that at the end of the day, and that's why I say Zoe, even though yes, it's not looking good for his future. This week, it wasn't that bad of a week. So. No. And we'll go over the future matchup soon. So let's just try to get through these. So next we're going to talk about uh, Senior Terry, who was the top scorer of the week, um, versus Izzy. And, uh, you know, Izzy still had a good outing. I mean, let's be honest. Izzy's team, you know, Russell Wilson puts up 48 almost, you know, Uh and he got screwed because, let's be honest, I think if Fuller would have showed up and done anything, he had a chance to, to stick it to Terry. What do you guys think? Well, he lost by what, 30, 38 points? Yeah. Yeah, Dak Prescott, though, you know, playing, he got, uh, what, 18 points over projection? Coming from behind like that. like that. Yeah, was... Alvin Ridley went 12 over projection. You know, Kareem Hunt went 11 over projection. He got lucky with that hunt. I think that was a big one, too. The fact that, like I said, they, they had control of that game. They still used Hunt to run the ball down at the end, and that's – you know, that's that's the difference with that kind of flex and a Nakeem, you know, and a Heinz flex is that they still utilized him in the game. But I mean, I think the biggest difference is when it comes down to it. I mean, Higby blew up. Drake did OK. Edwards did OK. Um, Fuller screwed the pooch. Cup screwed the pooch. And Thielen. What, what happened with pooch. Fuller? I didn't get to see it. I heard he had a hamstring issue. I, I don't know what, exactly what the details are. I just know it wasn't good. <laughs> Yeah, he got, yeah, yeah. he got a hamstring injury. Yes, he got it early on. It happens every year. Fuller, I'll yep. never own Fuller or draft Fuller. It's fool's gold. Or like what I like to say is Fuller gold. Yeah, Fuller <laughs> gold. <laughs> the puns keep on coming. All right. All right, so let's hop up to the next game. All right, we got uh, Mr. Krabby Karen over here that's on the line with us. And uh, Mr. You Never Know, except uh, – you never know that if he's going to try to pull some bullshit. <clears throat> so. Oh, I, I I knew that he was going to lose. No, not the losing part. The trying oh, to take players out. The, oh, the right. standbagging, right? The uh, yeah. the tanking on purpose. Is is that is that is that something we're allowing? What what do we no, what do we he, decide he on? Fixed, he fixed he fixed the he fixed the situation. I reached out to him in, in private and and explained to him like you know I, look, you're gonna push the boundaries of anything. Him and and Rob, neither. They're both new. They don't know, you know, the uh, like baseball, the unwritten rules of, of shit. But I, I talked to him. I was like, look, man, I tried to do the same shit last year. I was just going to say, you did the same, same thing last year. And I made a big deal out of it on purpose. Everybody that we wouldn't have this issue deal. again. Uh, yeah. I, I guess we forgot about and it. He, and not, he, we would have not let that go down. And he, and he, but he corrected it. And like you said, he, 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 but can he, he not it. do that? 
No, you can't do that. You you should have you should always Why not? have a, a it's just like baseball. Like you're not supposed to swing when you're down in the in the pitch oh three and you know. It's but you can though. Rules. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm against what he did, uh, but well, I'm just saying that know. what's telling him he can't? What is the, oh, the divining that's force that's telling him he cannot do that? Well, All of I, us. So you know no, you know what it comes down to? It's the same things it's the same thing that you talk about in the NBA or the NFL. Um, that if it gets found out that a team is purposely tanking games in order to get a higher draft pick, they get penalized. Like that's not allowed. You're not allowed to actively do that. Now he, the way he put in Moss in there, and now I'm not saying how, but let's say for instance he he's not high on Howard, so he puts Howard in there. Okay, like we could start because of the way his team's made up. No one knew Kasiki was going to blow up for 27 points, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and there could be arguments about who you put in your flex, you know, if you're not big on Zach Moss. There's ways to get away with it, just like teams tank in real life, you know, like playing De- Derek Carr over Cam Newton. Some could say, oh, why would you ever do that? Okay, but there's ways to get away with it, but you can't blanketly not have players in your lineup. You know what I'm saying? That's where you're just draw- – that's where we draw a line. Right. It's no, right. It's totally, just, it's totally a, came up. Uh, we're wasting time. Some I, I came agree. up. He corrected um, it, and we'll just we'll just address it next year with the shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess the the big thing to talk about is it's. I mean, Jared Allen, but it's only been look at the teams he's played the first two weeks. Jared Allen, Josh Allen. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking of somebody else. Josh Allen with the first two weeks. I mean, he's been a freaking fantasy superstar. But I guess the real question is, do you really think he's gonna be able to keep up this pace against actual like NFL teams? Because no. I mean, look at the teams he's been playing. They're they're freaking grade school. No, I don't. Oh, are you so. asking? Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm, I'm asking you. Him. No, no. I'm wait. I was letting Gary go ahead. Okay. Gary. No, I don't. I don't think so. They've had. I think they've had some extremely easy games, um, and you know they got a tougher road ahead because they played the two worst teams in the league. So they're going to play harder teams, right? That's that's just the schedule. Yeah. Uh, well, but I, as soon as their backfield gets together though a little bit more, I think that they could do some more. You know, with like Dig, Digs going deep. Uh, Moss and uh, the tandem with Moss and Singletary, I think they could do something, but I don't think he can keep this pace up. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't expect this this pace neither. But he, he, I mean, we see a ceiling. What do you think his floor is? Uh, you know what? I mean, I haven't seen him against a good team, but I'd say at least twenty, which yeah, is still good. Which yeah, is still yeah. great. All right, I can live. I can live with that. That's what I'm saying. But it's see, where, where Allen, where Al, but see where Allen gets the advantage is. Rushing. Yeah. I, Rushing touchdowns. Let's give him 20. Because let's be honest, we've seen him in the past years. He'll not even get 200 yards passing some games. I know. Look at him last year. That's last point. year he was a top, what was he, a top, definitely top 10 QB. Yeah, but he didn't, and some games he didn't get over 200 yards in passing. So that's what I'm he, saying. He has looked, he, he has looked, because I, I've been watching a lot of Josh Allen, because I, I not only do I own Allen Diggs here, but I, I own Buffalo Bills for <laughs> fucking whatever reason, all over the fucking place. So I've been watching the Bills and Allen as and Diggs with Allen is is such a nice connection. And not just Allen, so. there's there's John Brown yeah. on the other side too. But once again, we're talking about the two worst league. Like the one thing they have advantage of is this. Let's be honest. They have two more games against those ferocious teams. Yep. Right? They're they're in that division. They're gonna have to play Miami again. They're gonna have to play the Jets again. But what I'm saying is let's not Let's not jump so what, to what any if he conclusions. Scores, what yet. if he scores? What if he scores? I don't know. Let's just say thirty-five against the Rams. I then I start to th- to think this is more of a trend. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait till next week. Then. Here's the thing: when you're talking about the Rams and you're talking about Diggs against Ramsey, and they go out and they can do that kind of performance. Okay, now you got my attention. Now I'm watching. Yeah, well, we'll wait. We'll we'll burn that bridge when we get to it next week. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. I'm listen. I'm not saying he's a. Hey, all I know is for her, a 14th round pick. Oh no! Listen, <laughs> listen. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. So last game. Didn't real Tua? Quick. Didn't Tua? Didn't Tua get get uh, picked ahead of Allen? Probably because there's some <laughs> <laughs> some noobs in this league. All right, real quick. Let's let's cover the last game real quick. The kosher ballers versus playoffs with a shit stain on his on him or so. I don't know. It's a little poof thing is but um but it's me versus aj and in uh true fashion my team shit the bed aj didn't even you know matt ryan killed me 40 points 
Um, and that's about it, man. David Montgomery had a good game. That, that hurt me as well. But, man, Adams and Jones, like, these guys, they got me 60 points combined in week one, and I lose. And they come out and get me 11 points total in week two. Like, what the hell? Yeah, what are you going to do with them? <laughs> what? What'd what are you, you going to do with them? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Oh boy, go ahead, Phil. Well, 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 Adams, Adams, I believe got injured early yep. on too. Same thing, and Julio came in injured, and and which is Julio was the biggest surprise because dude, four points in that game where everybody was scoring like crazy. Yeah, everybody. Right. Eighty, almost eighty points, and Julio he had like three targets the whole game too. That's not even. It's not just about the points. Like I know he may not get touchdowns, but he'll usually get me the hundred yards to make it respectable. And then the games that he's going to get a touchdown is a bonus. <laughs> but he's usually pretty steady that way, dude. He had like three fucking two receptions, three targets. Like, come on, man. Like, what the hell? I mean, sell him. Yeah, just sell him. Yeah, I guess I have to. I don't know. Um, but yeah, AJ made a good comeback. You know, he went from literally the worst team to, to winning this week. And, you know, he has a couple pieces on his bench that don't look so bad. You know, James Robinson's looking like a real deal. Cooks came back and had a decent game, right? For Houston Gibson, you know, is still trying to find his way, but doesn't look too bad, you know? So, I mean, he, AJ might have himself a little team. Oh, and like you said, you think that's going to be AJ's team? That's not going to be AJ's team no. in two days. No, no, but nope. at least he has the pieces to do something with it. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, so. and there's people out there that need those pieces. Yeah, so um, I don't know. What do you guys think about my team? What, what's the – I mean uh, – uh, Well, get rid of the receivers, one. Oh, yeah. I'll get rid of, no, the team – your team is fine. Uh, your team is fine. You do have a couple pieces, though, that you could you could move if, if you wanted to. But yeah. I also think I got a couple of guys who have high upside down the down the uh, down the stretch. I mean, I think right now Matthew Stafford is not hitting his potential because Galladay's out, right? Right. You get. That, you I get said that earlier up. on one, on my show on my yeah, podcast. Oh, my I bad. said I, that I earlier that, that Galladay is I coming back. Watch it. As soon as Kenny <laughs> G's back, I think you know Stafford's stock could definitely rise. Um, you know Taylor's just on the rise. I mean, yep. shit. I, think so. I mean, I think they play Carolina this week and. I don't know a running back this season who hasn't just put it to Carolina. So, uh, I mean, he could have a huge game this week running the ball. My biggest problem you're is just missing, you're just missing – really all you're missing is that that flex spot, that that solid flex spot because your flex is always going to be for right miss. now. And, yeah, you're, you're never going to know what well, it's going to put in. The problem is, is I got to get a more consistent third receiver – but I think D Swift may be able to be that flex spot going yep. like if we I give him know. time and and stuff, he may may be able to fill into that role because right now they're gonna be down and they like to use him in the passing game. So he could turn out to be that type of guy. You, you know? could also pick up a receiver, you know, if you really I don't know how high you are on Mixon. I'm not. I would I would sell him. My problem with Mixon is I like his potential. I don't like the way their offense is, is utilizing him because right now they're so scared about Burrow being a rookie that when I watch that game, like 60 to 65% of their snaps are out of the shotgun. That's not yeah. good for oh, the that's running game. Football. Yeah, that's, college yeah. Football. that's not good for the running game in the NFL. They have they too much time to see what's going to happen, and that doesn't look good. And that, that worries me a lot. So, but – you know, we'll see what happens. He has, he has a, he has a tough schedule too. Who Mixon? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it'll be fine. Look at last year. He, it's the same shit last year, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. He. I mean, the second half of the season, the dude blew up. So they just yep. got to figure out a way to do it again. I mean, I'm saying he still has value, and a lot of people still. You, I bet you can get McCaffrey for him. <laughs> nah, I don't know. If, I don't think I'd be able to get that, but I would. I would do it too. You know, so nice. if you're interested, hit me up. Straight up trade. I'll take the I'll take the L for a couple more weeks. I don't care. Um, all right. So that was that was the the weekend review. Um, let's let's talk about what's going on going forward, right? Um, let's talk about the future. So first matchup I'm going to look at: Sunny Side of Life versus You Never Know. D versus Manny. Okay. D. You got D. Oh, <laughs> of yeah. course. I already know. See, oh, okay. I, it's, it, I don't have to ask Gary who no. he picks because all you have to do is look at projections. And so we already know where he's going. That was a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, somebody called that out. Was it Terry? And I said, I looked at it and I said, damn, I did do that. It you was do an that all the time, all the time. 
So um, Cam Newton obviously looks good. Ben, Big Ben versus Houston. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys? You, you got you definitely got. It, it's no doubt. D. D. For sure. No, it's not. I, I don't. I, I just was talking shit. I didn't even look. Now I'm looking at it. No, yeah. I, I think I think it's it's gonna be shit, man. It, it's gonna. Hold on. Now I'm looking at it. Oh, because I took out Barkley and I thought he was done, but he put in Moss. I mean, that's what kills him right now. He doesn't have another true running back. Um, but if D makes a couple adjustments, I like Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, I think he's because uh, Debo Samuel's out, it's right? Still, it's still he, he's he's still gonna he's it's still gonna take him a few more weeks, and okay. Garoppolo is probably not gonna play this week either. Yeah, yeah, but it's the Giants. I mean, they'll still win that game. Let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> is anybody really? Worried but I don't know. About I, that? I I think I I I think uh, Newton, Evans, Parker. If Adams doesn't play, Scanley could have it. Carson. What about Brown? Is Brown playing? He's got a Who? deep bone bruise. AJ Brown is a deep bone bruise. No, he's not playing probably again. No, that's a serious, serious injury. Yeah, but you don't have you don't have Brown. No, D does. Oh. Uh, I mean, teams are banged up. It's hard. No, you know? D, D, D don't have. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I will so, say Slayton is an uptick because no running back. Shepard's going to probably be out, right? So Slayton sure, no. could. They got Freeman. What I meant was no Barkley, but Freeman's not going to jump in this week and do anything. He hasn't even no. officially signed yet. He has yeah, to he did. Proto- no, he didn't. He has to go through the protocols. Oh, and update protocols, without me right. Medicine. Yeah, he has to go through the COVID protocols first. I mean, it looks like he's going to sign, but. Um, you know, we don't know yeah. what Freeman's going to be because when last time we saw Freeman, it wasn't very good. If I had to put, if I had to put money, if that you know, money on the table for this game, I'd probably put my money on on Manny's team. Yeah, now that. that we just talked about it, I kind of like slighted my decision as well. Yeah, at Newton, listen, man, Newton. Until I see some otherwise, he's looking really fucking good. Very Evans good. has the has the potential to blow up. Parker. You just, I mean, you just don't know what you're going to get there. That, that Parker and Valdez, that's that's what worries me, right? And Moss. These guys can come out and have fucking donuts, you know? Um, but we'll see. You know, he, he's definitely taking some chances there. All right. Let's move into the next matchup of the week. We got Uncle Bob's Gators versus... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. So let's keep, let's keep, let's keep a note to this. So, you, Gary, you got Manny or D? Oh, shit. Gun to head. <laughs> gotta, gotta pick one. Uh, oh my god, dude, that's rough. I'm gonna go. You know what? Yahoo did say Manny was gonna win one game this year, um, and this might be it. <laughs> right, I got Manny check, but who you got? I got D, all the way. All right, let me. Let me, let me, yeah, let's write know, this while down. we're doing this, I'm, I'm writing it down right now. Okay. Hold on. So I'm gonna move on to the next one while you write all this right, down. Go ahead. Got it. Yeah, I don't like two players on these teams, Gaskin and, and Chanel. I, I just, I, I don't. Gaskins, know. They've been using Gaskins a yeah, lot. Yeah, and Chanel, it can be hit or miss, man. He can have a big game, and I, it's very possible on Thursday night football they let the young kid go. You never know. You he's, never know. He's getting there. I'm telling you, man. Chanel, I, I, uh, I know I, I talk some shit, but I'm and a big him. fan of Chanel. Like, come, yeah, no shit. Yeah, because I got Chubb and Diggs. All right, so next one up, Kenny versus Gary. Ooh, very yeah. evenly projected matchup. Kenny is slightly down in the projections, 162 to Gary at uh, 165. So, you know, it, it's a it's a close matchup there. Um, very interested in, in what you guys have to – you know what, fuck it, I'll start this one off, okay? Um, I, you know, when I'm looking at the players, right, Mahomes and Hill – I think that's going to be a tough matchup this week on Monday Night Football versus Baltimore. I, I don't think Pete, I don't think this game. It's one of two things. This game's going to be out, outrageously <laughs> high scoring, or it's going to be extremely low scoring, right? And I lean towards the lower side. And I think having three chief players, Kansas City players, on your team against a Baltimore defense that's looking really good. That that's might be what burns you at the end of the day. Wait a minute. One's my kicker, though. It, it, dude, that, it still matters. 
Kickers matter, Gary. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, honestly, the kicker's probably what's going to help your ass. Um, but, I mean, if you look at some of the other players, right, Gallup is hit or miss, right? Now, the only good yep. thing is they're playing Seattle. So odds are they're going to have to do it like they did against Atlanta, which is come back and throw the ball a lot, right? We don't know if Kenny G's playing yet. If Galladay does play, that can help you a lot because against Arizona, who I think is going to put up a lot of points, right? That means you're going to have to throw the ball. So if you get Galladay back, that's going to be a huge booster. Um, Eckler versus Carolina. I was wrong on who played Carolina this week. Um, Eckler, I mean, he could run around. He, he could have a huge game, but I don't know, man. They seem to like that Kelly guy a lot back there, so that would make me a little nervous. Gordon versus Tampa Bay is not too bad. Henry, I could have confidence in. AJ Green's actually, actually Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's been doing pretty good against the run. That's what I said. They're you, not you bad. You can attack. You can yeah. You can attack in, in the air. He's but still the guy. He's still the guy though. But here's the thing. Oh, 100. But here's the thing. He is the only guy there, and they have to run the ball because their quarterback's out. Stay. Um, no, Drew that's Locke. True. Yeah, Drew Locke is is probably not going to play this week. They got so they're gonna give no, him the not, ball. He's not playing. He's out. He's out like four to six. Yeah, four to six. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be running the ball. So I, I like I like that. If they did, I mean, he did very well against a really good defense last week in Pittsburgh. He should do okay against Tampa Bay. I'm not saying he's going to blow up, but he should be okay. Um, you look at Kenny's side though. I, I, listen, Detroit's defense ain't great. Kyler Murray could just scorch the earth. He's just looking really good. Um, Woods has a tough matchup against Buffalo, though. That would worry me. McLaren against Cleveland should be fine. Allen should be fine as long as Tyrod's not playing. Elliott's Elliott. So I think it's the, the you know the Brown there. That that's the one you got to watch out for. Uh, because he will, I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll be there. You think who's going to switch him out for then? He'll put he'll move he'll move Connor up to there and then put Brown in as a flex spot. Well, I would take Brown out of my sex. Put the other Brown in. Maybe you mean? Yes. Okay. That's what I meant. John, yeah. John Brown is. Okay. Brown. Sorry. Yeah, if he does that, that's definitely a better outlook. I mean, right now, until he gets hurt again, which we know he will, Connor, you know, against Houston, that could be a good matchup for him. Waller is a – it doesn't matter who he plays. They're going to throw him the damn ball. So, I mean, you know, it's a good outlook. I mean, what do you guys think? And then who's your picks? Well, what do you, you think? You think he should, should uh, sell Connor? You think he's still got some value? I mean, I wouldn't want him on my team just because I just don't ever know when to start him. I think – well – you start him as long as he's healthy, right? And until he gets injured again, you're going to start him. I think one of the reasons why they didn't put him in uh, the rest of the last game was they didn't want to take a chance on him getting injured, knowing they could handily finish that team off, which was the Giants, um, without any trouble. So why put him back in, right? But Benny yeah. Snell didn't look great out there. Connor was no. definitely the guy. Terrible. Yeah. So, yes, I do think he has trade value. Um, I think there's too many teams with injuries out there that somebody would pay for Connor. Um, how much? Yeah, I don't he's know. Not, he's not. He's, again, Kenny. Uh, Kenny's not trading. I I don't think he will unless someone, something blows his mind. But I think Kenny is content where he's at. But, but anyway, so. Uh, so, well, here, I'll, I'll go real quick. And then since it's Gary's team, you can go last. Uh, damn, man. Uh, the, these teams are very evenly matched. I mean, the this. I mean, Mah- I mean, just go across the board. Mahomes, Murray, like if, like I did it there in the chat where I'd put like equal marks are you know greater yeah. size. That's an equal mark. Tyree Kill, Robert Woods, uh, to me, both equal marks. McLaurin greater than Gallup. Galladay, if Galladay plays. Again, even with Keenan Allen, it depends on who the starting there, but that's another equal mark. Elliott greater than Eckler. Gordon, Connor, equal mark. Waller, Henry, slight. If they feed him like they fed him last night, then it's Waller, but still, equal mark. Like, But to me, it's – it's. I think Elliott is, is what's going to sway me towards uh, – Side, because I try to look at my guy who can have that Aaron Jones that that forty point that thirty five that forty that forty five point game, and uh, out of out of both these sides, Elliot. So my pick is going to be. Let me write this down. Is going to be Kitty. And to be fair, we don't get to pick the games 
that we play. So Gary's going to sit out this one. We all sit out one one pick. So I'll go. Who did you pick, Chuck? I'm picking Kenny. Um, no, you you can pick your own team. That's that, no, Gary, I think Gary wants to pick his own team. No, no I think it's, 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 it's what do you mean? It's your team. No, I'm saying I think it's fun that if we don't our matchups, we don't pick them. We don't get to make that. We we just sit out of that. We let the other guys. So, um, right. yeah. Well, anyways, Gary, who, Gary, do you think you're gonna win? Of course he does. Uh, I think it'll depend on Galladay, no, really. Gary, if Galladay Gary's plays, not. and I think I have the upper hand. If he doesn't, I really don't have a lot of depth, so I have to fill my, you know, move green up there, fill my flex with a scrap player, and but See, I think Kenny's got a better matchup than I do. I think Kenny moves Connor up to where Brown's at, set Brown, and either John Brown or Russell yeah. Gage, I think, are going to be good flex options. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's I think even, but I, I think Kenny's got the edge on this. The only thing I think that you could have going for you, if you get Galladay in, right, I think that the difference maker for you, whether you win or lose at the end of the day, is what A.J. Green are you going to get, right? Week one A.J. Yep. Green who looked good, or week two A.J. Green who looked old as fuck? Yeah. I think that's that's going to be the difference maker. All but, right? see, I don't, I don't think it is. That Just the one thing that I've noticed already, and not just here, but on Twitter a lot too, is like, yeah, man, it's only week two with no preseason, no nothing. A.J. Green hasn't played for, what, almost two years, Over year and a year. half or whatever, yeah. and he's with a new QB. It's going to take a minute. It's, it, you, we've already seen it, and we're going to continue seeing it. It's just panic where I don't think A.J. Green looked old. I They just didn't sync up. And, you know, I think in a few weeks, I, I think we're singing a different tune about A.J. Green, that's all. I, I, listen, I don't opinion. disagree, but we're looking at this week. We're not looking a couple weeks from now. Oh no, I know. I, I was just I was, that was just for AJ Green, and because you said, "Oh, is it going to be week one, or is it going to be?" Because we saw you know, two the different players. Like, oh, I feel just, like you know. Exactly. Is, is AJ so, Green a buy, sell, or hold? Hold. hold. You can't sell him for much. Yeah, hmm. uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't figure I'd buy him for much. So that's why so, you yeah, have to hold old. him. All right. So next up, Bob versus Zoe. Oof. This is just, I don't know. Um, I mean, Zoe might get lucky because McKinnon is going against the Giants. So that may work out to be okay for him. Um, Mark Ingram versus Kansas City. I'd be shocked if they lean on the rookie that in this type of game. This is like one of those hype games for Mark Ingram. So I think he's going to be a solid play. Tom, Michael Thomas has a chance to come back. And if sure. he does, you know, that could be a good one. Um, I think the one that player on his team that honestly could probably hurt him the most is besides James White, because I'm not a huge fan of him right now, because uh, New England's not just, they don't have that style of play anymore. I think Deshaun Watson could be his big downfall against Pittsburgh. With that defense, um, they may be able to get to him. He's already one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the league um, since he came in, and now you have that front coming after you. That could be tough. Yeah, I like the McKinnon addition. Uh, I know he had him in his bench, so that was a good pick. I know he picked him real late in the game, and they talked about the pick of the pick of the year, right, or pick of the draft. I do like McKinnon this game. He's the only running back there, right? What's the other guy that they got in there? The uh, junior, something Smith Junior. Uh, Wilson. Yeah, Junior. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. So, yeah, but I like I like Bobby Steen to win this game. Uh, his his receivers are just unmatched. And then and then Kamara against Green Bay, and then yeah. you just seen Derek you just seen Derek Carr Derek fucking Carr carve up the the Saints, and the Saints are going to be on a short week. Yeah, but but yeah, I, I got it. He's just riddled with injuries. I don't think Mike Thomas is going to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think so. I High ankle brand. Unlikely. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be. See where he has Ingram. Where you're like, oh, you don't think you're gonna let the rookie? I think if this turns into one of those games, Dobson's gonna have. A, I think a really a, a pretty decent game. Well, what do they got projected at fourteen? I, I think he'll hit fifteen. And they're playing each other. Yeah, that's what I was say. That's that might be the you know. 
I know that there's a lot of other players, but that that is realistically could be a difference maker in the game is which one of those two guys gets the ball more, right? No, it's not. I, I could If Michael Thomas plays, that can be the difference maker. Nah. Well, <laughs> agree to disagree. Because we'll, we'll, the projections we'll are only 10 agree. points apart. The, again, do the – I got Rodgers over uh, – Watt, Rodgers over Watson, Hopkins over Boyd. All right, well, I'll – even if I wanted to – I can – I guess I can put an equal mark, Edelman Schuster – uh, even if Thomas does play, he's fucking injured. So, God with Thomas, Kamara Ingram. Uh, I, mean, I guess uh, I'll give McKinnon, uh, Andrews uh, McKinnon, Kelly over White. So for me, it is Bobo. Listen, I you go mark me down for Bobby winning. I'm just saying this may be a closer matchup than we're expecting. This could be uh, – there's a show out there that says my almost upset of the week. This could be my almost upset of the week. Who do you got? Who do you got, POTUS? I got Bobby. All three on Bobby. All right. Let's see what we got next. Um, We got Chris versus Izzy. And, uh, of course, he puts all his fucking players <laughs> on the bench. No, it's, dumbass it's, bastard. So you have to go look through his list and figure out and who's just, his yeah, people. Yeah, who's right. he gonna start? So you know, Lamar. All you Jets. gotta do, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is here. You stay on this, and I'll go to the old one. I'll tell you who he's gonna start. So yeah. we'll go to last. Week. Well, we already know it's gonna be Lamar Jackson, right? <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. DK yeah. Metcalf. So let me. Yeah. So, so here's here's a here's a really good question: Jackson or Wilson? Right now, Wilson. No, this week coming up. This is what oh. I'm talking about. Like, because oh. filters going around, and I, I don't mind it. He's telling you who he thinks has the advantage. Which quarterback are you giving the advantage to this week? Oh, oh that's that's who they're playing. Uh, Dallas, is yeah. that right? And then Kansas City. Who who's the advantage? Let's see, they just put up 40 points on Dallas recently. Um, God, that's a tough one. I don't know. I think. I just think Russell Wilson is. I think he's Russell on Wilson. another planet right now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Five he's touchdowns. On another planet. He, he's, he has he has just as many touchdowns as incompletions through two weeks. Yeah. So so who you got your money on filter? Because you are you saying equal then? If, if, it I, it is an equal, but if we want to put gun to head, uh, who's going to score the most points? Uh, Wilson. Okay. Yeah, I would think Wilson too. And then it, you know, it, but it's it, tough it, though because it, they're playing Kansas close, City. Well, to me, it's not. It's not that. It's. Uh, it, it is their Kansas City, but it's also like Lamar Jackson just doesn't. Who Mark Andrews, right? We got. Yeah, we like Brown. Brown's a good receiver, but he don't have the supporting cast. Uh, no. He, DK Metcalf, Lockett, Chris Carson has been catching a lot of passes. Yep. Uh, even Olsen has been doing pretty decent, and shit. Even other guys. That, he just has – and just Wilson right now is just uh, – yeah. So let me, so let me ask home, you, I mean, I don't really matter. Does the advantage go to Chris for the fact that he'll have Metcalf in there? So, mm. like, literally half the chance, half the touchdowns that Wilson's going to throw, he might be able to get because of Metcalf? Yeah, uh, it does help for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he can't go up without him going up yeah. even more. Because he gets more points. So he went over Metcalf. Hilton's probably going to be in in the game, right? Because it's fucking the Jets. I don't know. I'm trying to see who who he would replace. Let's see. What did Neil Harry do? I, I didn't watch much of that game. He had a he okay decent. game. Yeah, he's yeah, a decent eight game. For twelve. I, I, huh. It could. I mean, he could replace because Hilton has been. I mean, Philip Rivers just doesn't. Yeah. Philip Rivers is tight ends and running backs, and and he, he'll take a shot, but he just got. What about with shot, Harris man. Campbell being out too? You don't think that that changes things? Oh, is Campbell out? I must have uh, missed yeah, that. Yeah, he got hurt. Yeah. Oh, then yeah, but, that does change things. My apologies. Yeah, I mean, we, we know Hollywood's going to be in, right? So. Oh, they're playing the Jets too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hollywood's in, so that's no, where I, I see. I see it being. I see that game. I see the game playing out just like the game played out against Minnesota. Just running the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's in a dome. They're in the dome. Yeah, Dalvin Cook versus Tennessee. I thought Tennessee had a decent defense. They do. They are pretty good, I think. 
Uh, Minnesota. Yeah, but the Jets. Robinson ran. Robinson ran. But right now, it's it's just that stinking that Minnesota as a whole, offense, defense, everywhere around the board. And if Kirk Cousins doesn't fix whatever the fuck he's doing, that affects Cook because then they can just they can just load the box and just load everybody in there. And be like, all right. We yeah, dare cousins to be that's fucked up. But Cook is Cook. I, I, he's going to get you fifteen to twenty points regardless. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, is it going to be? Is it? Is it going to be? You know, enough. But yeah, Aaron the, Jones. these teams, these teams, these teams, same thing. If I go across it, Aaron Jones has been balling too, yeah. though. Yeah, and against New Orleans, and we saw Jacobs was able to move the ball pretty well against New Orleans. I'm here. I'm trying to see something. Hold on. Is it, again, without the fucking looking like straight across. Yeah, I don't but, think. So we'll do. I don't equals. think Izzy's teams where it's going to be though, because I think Izzy's probably going to sit Fuller and throw in Judy. Judy, I would. I would do yeah, that. He's got. Yeah, he has to. Fuller's not going to play. Yeah. So that's hey, going to change it up a little bit. You know, so I'm looking at Cook's stats. You see, he has two touchdowns week one, one touchdown week two. Uh, and he had what he had two two point conversions and one two point. Like it looks like he's. I don't want to say he's touchdown dependent because that's not what he is. But yeah, he is the, right now. He definitely is right now. Right. That, but I numbers. know that's what I'm saying. That's what he's I'm. That's even, what I'm getting at. Even, he's, he hasn't even got 15. Look 14 at, carries look at the, last week. No, just look at touches total. 14, 16. Cook should be getting should be getting like 20 plus touches a game. But right. again, if you can't sustain drives, you're not going to get near as many touches and. Like I said, until that gets fixed. Uh... But if he doesn't score, he doesn't score. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So oh, this is a this is a this is a tough one for me because uh, who comes down to who, who is, you got? That's what I'm trying to figure out because then I'm trying to figure out like who the hell is uh, is is he going to put in his flex spot because he's not going to run Ronald Jones out there. Yeah, that's that's a that's the big question, right? So well, I got. I, he can throw uh, I know who I should. Got, I would throw Robbie easy. Anderson. Yeah, in. Robbie Anderson all day, dude. He's yeah, he has been. Yeah, he's been. He has two hundred yard games in the first two weeks. They paid him oh, money, and they're using they him. They paid him. So this game, so I, I, you may not have heard in my podcast I did earlier. I did say that one team will lose. What is your podcast oh. called again? Look, we're not. I'm not going to take over his show by fucking <laughs> <laughs> mine. All right, but you sure do bring it up a lot. Yeah, but I did say that there will only be two undefeated teams remaining, and this um, this could be one of the games. Well, Kenny, my game and Kenny's game, and then this game. But I think right here, I think uh, Izzy wins this game. All right, mark him down for Izzy. What do you about you, Phil? All right, Izzy. Izzy has a great team, man. Who's this? Who's this? Who's his other wide receiver? Oh, Brown. No, I'm going – I like that he has Jackson and Brown, too. No, I'm going Chris. Check. I think I will have to uh, lean towards Chris. I think some of the matchups are going to be difficult. Uh, Cup versus Buffalo, Thielen versus Tennessee. Um, I think those are going to be some tough matchups. Higby, hit or miss now because of Buffalo. Ronald Jones is that like, you know – I, listen, Robbie Anderson's a, is is a good option, but the Chargers have a good defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no cakewalk there for his players. They could have great days, but I think I, I give my edge to Chris. All right, I got it written down, and it shall be done. All right, next off, we got. Oh man, the last one's gonna be the, the last one's gonna be the the one to talk about. Uh, next off, we got AJ versus Terry. Oh jeez, let me see. So, hey, hey, look at that, Terry. Terry actually put his lineup in. I know awesome. that's why. Thank it's, you. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate uh, we, that. Yeah, thanks, 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 thanks. We, you know, I brought it up earlier. Can we address the whole picture and then typing in the name thing? Like, what's the difference? There is none. There isn't, right? That's like that's like that's like saying frick. Uh, you you know it's fuck. But you know, like it's it that I didn't write it, so it's not me. Like I didn't, it didn't come out of my fingertips. But that's but that's like him posting a picture he finds online 
of like a naked chick or something. Well, I didn't take the photo. Yeah. So if I like, I, I don't see the difference in that. Like if yeah. you, you, you went out and located something that said yeah. bad ass, but yet you don't, you're afraid to write it. Like how do you, you're, hey, how you're do you search for it? it? How do you search for it? Exactly. <laughs> Send your bad. Bad ass. <laughs> you know, I don't think. Yeah. Terry, so what, I mean, I'm telling hold you. Hold on. Terry, Can I get a guess? I got to guess what he did. I think he typed it in in Spanish into Google Translate. It came out the other side, and he copied that, pasted it, and then searched for it. That way it wasn't his words. Yeah, he did something. I don't know. <laughs> so look at – dude, Terry, it happens every year, man. Terry is – I mean, really, Terry's a fucking running back away, I think. I mean, of course you want to put a running back in your flex. But Terry's a fucking running back away. Man. Yeah, Terry's and he's gonna, team. He's going to get it done. Terry's he's team a running is back looking away. scary. Scary Terry. Like, Prescott. He's, he does it every year. Ridley is becoming a beast. Lockett. You know, Moore is starting to catch up a little bit. Yeah, I, mean, I like Moore. I like thing, Lockett. The, the, I like here's, the, here's the thing, though. This is, this is the, the problem he has. His two running backs – are hit or miss, I feel like. They'll get you 10 I don't points. Think Hunt is. I, he, I think Hunt can be hit or miss. He'll get you 10 points. But if they're in a close game and in a matchup where it's not like they're leading or they're catching up, I don't know how much Hunt's going to get the ball. No, look. look. Well, I guess, yeah, that was a blow. That was 18 touches. And then the last week before week, that, they were down. Last week, it, well, that's what I meant. That was, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. The first week was 18. Last week was... Uh oh, I'm sorry. Seventeen and last week was twelve touches, and he just maximized those twelve touches. Yeah, too. yeah. you know, what I'm saying so. I listen. He's having great games, but right now he he's the one person on the team along with Hyde that I'm a little nervous about. But but Washington, like, dude, I understand. No, I'm not talking about Washington. this week. I'm not talking uh, about this okay. week. Where I'm just where if we're talking about the team because we're you, you're projecting Terry's team as far as one running back away. What I'm saying is. You, I can see what's gonna. I can already foresee what's happening. Hunt's gonna blow up again. Have a great game. He's gonna trade yeah, his Washington, ass. Dallas, yep. Indy, Pitt. That's all. Those are a lot of Hunt games. They're they're gonna they're gonna turn him. He's gonna turn him over to somebody else for a more sturdy running back. And like you said, that's when the team starts to come together. But I'm not like listen. Hunt makes me nervous. Hyde makes me nervous. Some of these guys may. I think C.D. Lamb's on the Hyde rise though. Make nervous. Hyde's not gonna get you but seven points a game. But he could get you more. You just don't know. But see, these two teams, these two teams are going to be hard to to pick from because there is no doubt in my mind. Come Sunday, these ain't going to be the two same teams. That that Terry's not going to have the same team, and AJ definitely is not going to have the same team. Come Sunday, definitely not. Yeah, listen, you're right. This is probably but the just hardest based game off of the where, week. It, this is definitely just the based hardest off game. This, though. Yeah, but if we even if we just take the teams the way they're built, I still think this is the hardest matchup to choose from. This, this is I don't be, think so. This is the toughest game to pick because I think he'll he's going to end up throwing Robinson in his starting lineup, right? Yes. It, Over who? Over yeah, Robinson. we. Yeah, probably because it's Pittsburgh. He won't do that. He's not sitting David Johnson. But you're right, though. Early, he could. He could and should, but he Chicago, won't. But I would definitely get Robinson in there. It's Miami, dude. Look at that matchup. you got to have him starting. Maybe he sells one. Well, that's where we say. We're t- I'm just talking about Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this, this is going to be one of those. This would be the game where it's going to be so hard to pick because that's for fresh, sure. The hardest pick hey, of the you know, you know, You know, AJ, people's reached out to AJ. And you know AJ's out there right now. He's he he's shopping some he's shopping something. Hey, he's shopping something. Gotta give AJ credit, man. Some of these players that we are all iffy on are starting to work out. Montgomery's looking good, Johnson's looking good, mm-hmm. Gurley's okay, but you know, he made a good trade to get um Johnson from Pittsburgh, who looks like he's overall still the number one option, man. Like he gets the most targets. You talk about targets, he's getting them like you remember, are you talking about Deontay Johnson, the yes. guy everybody talked shit about yes. last year? Yes. I was like, dude, I was a big fan of Deontay Johnson. Yes. And, uh, okay, just make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so who's your picks, guys? Let's get it. As of right now, on what I'm staring at, it's, it's Terry's team. Okay. But I just, don't, I just don't think, I just don't think, like I said, I'll write Terry down right now. 
But AJ, I, I know I'm down you right now, buddy. I don't think this is how your team's going to end up. But as, as what I'm looking at right here, Prescott over Matt Ryan. And the only reason that is because they're Chicago. Yes. I don't think it's going to be some big shootout. But Seattle, Seattle and Dallas is going to be just like Dallas versus fucking Atlanta. It's going to be the same shit. All right. So what do you got, Gary? Um, let's see. I do like that Prescott. I think he's going to definitely outperform Ryan. I think uh, Terry's receivers are going to outperform uh, AJ's receivers. It's the running backs for me that it comes down to. That hide is unplayable to me. I think. I just don't think. I just don't think he's going to be there. He's not be there. No, maybe. Maybe if he makes the trade, then yeah, Terry. If this is winnable for Terry, you know, if he makes some moves. Um, just right now as it sits, I think it's AJ, but it, I think it also could change. Who do you think makes a trade first? AJ or Terry? AJ. Both of them right now, both of them right now are out there. AJ. They're hunting. What if they make a trade with each other? <laughs> 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 Which you know what? That is not out of the realm of possibility. No. For sure. All right. Uh so you got AJ, Gary? That's your okay. final answer. All right, I'm going to go Terry. AJ, and then uh, Terry. Man, we have not agreed. The only ones we've agreed on this is Bobby. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, last game to talk about for so the upcoming week. Get week-end. ready to rumble! Sorry. There you <laughs> go. I was going to say, that's good timing. Yeah. Let's get ready to rumble! All right. All right. I fucking like it, boys. Chat's getting fucking spicier and spicier by the fucking minute. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Mr. Filter, I'll let you go first. No, let Gary go first. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, blah, blah, blah. That's all you're going to sound like. Why? Which Which game are we on? Uh, we're going against the Kosher Ballers versus Krabby Karen. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. AJ, or excuse me, Gary. <laughs> Gary. Damn, bro. Answer my question, retard. Answer my question, retard. <laughs> Who do you want first? All right. You, you don't have anybody in your flex, but uh, I can see you can easily put somebody in there. Yeah, I mean, I got I got some options. I'm just also, you know, I'm, a, I'm number three in the waiver wire, so it could be right. somebody I pick up on the waiver wire. So, look, by default – I can't pick your team because everybody outscores your team, even if you have an amazing week. Yeah, that's true. Like, this could be a really high scoring, like 180 to 190. You know? Yeah. It could that's easily fine. be that. Um, let's see. I don't think Brown's coming back this week, so Corey Davis should get a boost there. No way Adams and Jones, unless they remain – sideline perform like they did last week they you'll get a boost there stafford is going to have to be in a shootout with arizona i love fans if he gets galladay back that's a boost oh and that as well you're correct and that as well um your team has an excellent matchup and like i said any flex that you have down there you easily put one of those in there for filter you have allen who's just been bar none top three quarterback maybe even the best I haven't looked at the stats. Is he the best? Is he number one? No. No, Wilson is, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 here. yeah I think Wilson's the, the one. Here, I'll look real quick while we're doing uh, this. Allen Robinson, talking. I'm a little concerned with him now. After week one, after that whole uh, uh, shenanigans with him, right, deleting all his, his, his picks and whatnot, and then come week two, you expect to be something more, and nothing happened. Diggs, I love it. Mike Williams. Hey, real quick though, real quick. Can we talk about Robinson for a second and how yeah. and, and not about him as an actual fantasy thing, but what's going on with him in real life, how funny this shit is. He comes to the, he comes out and says he has issues because they're not re- giving him a contract, right? And he's pissed off about it. They talk to him and the rumors were, I don't know if this would happen. Well, we don't really like to renegotiate contracts or, or give contract extensions during the season. And then literally three days later, they fucking signed Cohen to an extension. To an extension. They oh did. Oh, my yeah. God. How yeah. pissed Big money, too. Be? Cohen got a lot so of money. Bad. Dude, $17 <laughs> million. And you know what they did after they gave him $17 million? They gave him the ball like four times. <laughs> four fucking times. Can you believe that shit? They're just oh. trying to protect their investment. They don't want it to get hurt. Hey. Oh, yeah, I guess. Shit. 
Hey, Josh, Josh Allen right now is number two with 86.4 points. And then Wilson is number one with 91.30. Prescott Prescott or Prescott. Prescott is number number six. Hmm. I would have thought he was going to be number three. He has 70 points. Prescott didn't have a great week one, remember. So, Robinson, he's, he's one more. Like you said, one more is a trend, right? So, he's had two bad weeks. One more is a trend. So, we'll two see. I don't I don't know. Uh, Derrick Henry, he disappointed me last week. Jacobs, that was my favorite running back in the draft. I love Jacobs. Uh, Goddard, I'm not in love with him. Hey, so when you made that trade with me early on in the in when we made that trade, I tr- traded up for whatever it was for for you to move back to twelve. Were you thinking that Jacobs was could be possibly one of your targets there? Yes, but not. I wasn't banking on it. He, I wrote his name down. He's my number one pick. But so was McCaffrey. McCaffrey was my number one pick too at twelve. <laughs> so. so um, stupid. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. Yeah, you got to put going. in all the waiver wire in case, right? All right. So what do you got? So what else you got? I mean, you got filter, don't you? He already said uh, it. Yeah, he already said it. All I right, would so like let's... to see you put in a, a one of your 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 flex though, I, I'm because looking, you I'm, have if, good if matchups. You me, if you ask me right now, I'm looking. I'm leaning towards Swift. If, if you want me to tell you, like okay. I'm not, I don't care. If filter knows, but I'm leaning towards Swift. Yeah, like, what can I do? Can I stop you from doing it? Well, no, no, no. It's not like it gives you a competitive advantage like like fucking Chris thinks. Like, oh, no, he knows who's going to be my flex. No, it's just Chris's thing. And it's, yeah. it's one of those things where you just keep it going. I know. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at putting Swift in because, like I say, I think they're going to be behind, and I think they're going to have to throw the ball. And he is, the, right now, the receiving option on that team. So, I have high hopes for him. Man, I don't, it's a close one. It really is. It really is. I think, though, that Sheck could win this. He put Swift in there. Uh, I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to take the home team. Filter's the home team, I think. Oh, on my computer, you are. Oh, I don't know. All right, Filter, what do you got? So, again, I, I seen this matchup. I was like, fuck, man, this is – to me, it comes down to your fucking wide receivers. If Adams and Jones come in like Gimpy, then I got beat. If they come in and that, you know, because it's only week, week or uh, Tuesday. So let's see, do it and play on. They both play on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, but one plays Sunday night, which is Adams, which helps. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is this is a uh, a sketchy matchup for me. Now, again, with Mo- Minnesota, how Minnesota, like any, everybody's been able to run on fucking Minnesota. So that I get high hopes. Because to be honest with you, Henry, <coughs> Henry last two weeks, like I, I, I posted this on Twitter, like Henry looks kind of slow right now. But it, it does take it takes a while for Henry to get going, and the defense to start getting beat up and stuff like that. But I mean, of course, I'm going to pick myself, but I'm not. No, no. So here's I'm what... not. I'm not. I'm not ultra confident in it. So like, here... if you beat me, like it's it's not going to be like, oh, how the fuck did Sheckman's team beat me? It'd be like. Okay, this I can see how Sheckman's team beat. I think right sure. now, the right now, the biggest wild card because if we look at the four, the main four running backs, because you have Chubb as your flex, right? I mm-hmm. think Taylor and Mixon have every chance to score the exact same amount of points as Henry and Jacobs, right? Um, mm. Well, because Taylor can blow up, it's right? Close. So if Taylor blows up against the Jets, I, I think those four could be even. I think the, the, the wild card right there is going to be that flex position with Chubb. If Chubb goes out and just destroys it again with 30 points, that's going to be hard to come back from. Um, mm-hmm. Because if we're, we're assuming the receivers are good enough to just get their projections on my team, which I know is a big assumption right now after last week, but one week he has 40 points, the next week he has six points. He's still averaging 20 points a game, just not the way I want it, right? Um you just, I, 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 yeah, I think it's going to be a close matchup, but at the end of the day, I got to go with what I know. And what I know is I'm going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. just be fucking. Yeah, I'll tell you this, though. If Adams or Jones do does not play, I'm changing my pick. If oh, no, one sure. of those two are out, I'm changing. Filter's team's going to go 200 on me. Like, it's just, it's destined. 
He's prime too. Henry's going to have the best game this, uh, of the year so far. He's going to have like two touchdowns for 150 yards running all over Minnesota. <laughs> That could be true. <laughs> Chubb is going to have 150 yards, and he's going to pull a receiving touchdown on his ass this week. So I'll have one on the ground and one receiving. Right? I'll give you my predictions. Allen Robinson is going to get peppered with the ball, and he's going to have 125 yards and no touchdown probably <laughs> against Atlanta. Right? Diggs is going to only have three catches for 84 yards and a touchdown because he's going to get a 60-yard bomb sent off to him. Okay. And Mike Williams is just going to fucking make Carolina look like they're, he's, it's a little bitch. So, you know, I think oh, I'm going to replace, I'm replacing Mike Williams with Fournette. How? Yeah. <laughs> How? <laughs> I can't wait till you listen to this. Let's all listen to it. And then just listen to the instant dead silence after I said that. Uh, like it just went for, for like two beats. It was like, I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just lose him? That's how dead silent it went when I said that. Of course I can't put that in. That hey, but joke. here's here's the thing. This is another team that I know will not be constructed in the same manner by the end of the week. Oh, you know it's not. Yeah. And no way. so I mean he's already trying to shop for net to me. So what happens if I get for net and I have to put him in? You know what I mean? So whatever you know, we never But again, know. We're, we did the same. I, I personally think this is the game of the week. Okay. Me, me and you. If everybody's uh, healthy, I think that's the game of the yes. League. If yeah, my yeah, guys are all healthy, healthy, absolutely. Yeah. Because Agreed. Taylor's turning out to be a better running back. Uh, is turning out to be a, a, an absolute number one running back. Mixon has the potential. Fant is a good tight end. Sutton's down. Fant has to be utilized. He's already had two good games, and Fant's projection, like I project Fant to be a freaking fantasy stud rest of year. So we'll yes. see. Agreed. If I could pick up a decent flex option or wide receiver three, you know, Corey Davis is, is doing okay, but honestly, he's been touchdown dependent first two weeks. He's gotten the touchdowns, so that helps. But, man, if he doesn't get a touchdown, he's not doing much else. So that, that's a little nerve-wracking. Corey, Corey Davis. Davis. I think you're good yeah, for another week. Corey Davis, week one, Corey Davis was catching everything. But he still didn't man, have a lot a of – touchdown dependent. Yeah, he only had 15 points. Something. I thought I David he's so good for another week for sure. Oh, look, he, he, he had 17 points, eight targets, seven receptions. But, you, one you, one. but see, when it comes to Corey Davis, and I know we're going to get off topic for just a quick second, when it just comes to Corey Davis, like Corey Davis was a first round pick yeah. in the NFL draft. He has, like, he, has he hit his? Has he hit anything? Could he be like Devontae Parker, the Devontae Parker last year that blew up? Well, this was the Terry. Davis argument. could be. Yeah. Davis. Davis could be. Corey Davis could be this year's Devontae Parker. I like Corey Davis's value more when AJ Brown's in the game. To be honest with you, because now they can't focus on him. I think that's well, part dude, of the problem. Had, Corey Davis had 17 points. He had. Eight targets, seven receptions for 101 yards. Yeah, because Corey Davis, because uh, AJ, or excuse me, Brown was in the freaking game. So I think, you know, he drops a little bit when he doesn't have that receiver on the other side to take Teeb's attention away from him. So we'll see, though. I mean, he's only projected at eight points, but. No, I think that's wrong. I think that projection is wrong. They should, they're going to, they might update it by the end of the week. Yeah. All right, guys, that, that is the league. So uh, you got – I got Filter winning. Filter, you got yourself winning, and Gary has you winning, I think. So I think we're all on board with the Filter train. No, I went yeah, against but again, we, Oh, we, you uh, me. Yeah, we, oh, okay. Yeah, because like you said, if, if you're wide receivers, like I said, the wide receivers play this game. The, like I said, this is going to be one of those games where I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to be like, I can't believe I fucking lost the segment. We'll uh, find I'm out in the chat like, if he's on there or not. <laughs> no, Sheckman. Sheckman's always Sheckman's one of those so you. guys. That he's typically. Oh, I've always been in there. What are you? Listen, I've, uh, I'm I'm zero two, and I'm over here doing a podcast. You think I'm going yeah, anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm always in here. there too, just to just to prove a point. Because uh, and plus, like even if if it gets maybe maybe the script flips, Sheckman. Maybe you. I score like a 200 points, and you score 201. Well, listen, I thought honestly the way the first week was going against Izzy. I, honest to God, thought, okay, 2020 is going to be 2020. He's doing great, but I'm going to beat him, right? And oh, like, pfft, nothing happened. So I'm back to 0-2, starting off like normal. I mean, it is 2020. Everything's the same for me, and Kenny's a fucking fantasy superstar. He <laughs> is. You know? And Chris. Kenny and Chris are undefeated. Yeah, like, I mean, come on. 
Oh, shit. Uh, Bobby had the most points in the league at one point. I mean, come the fuck on. So you can't you can't predict anything. All right, guys, yeah, this is uh, that. That we definitely got to wrap this. Second, one yeah, second. All right, last thing. Let me see. I just want to see the one last thing. Hold on. Yeah, because we Where's this, this has been over an hour. We got to wrap this up. Right, you know, people are gonna bitch about it. Uh, they got nothing better to do. That's true. And they all want to hear about what we think about their teams and matchups. So, uh, of course. And then you know Terry's gonna come in and come. You all don't know nothing about football. Oh, uh, you know what we should have done, which would have been funny. We'll do this on the next episode. We're gonna go to the compare manager stats. Who's oh, silver? Like who's gold? Yahoo. Yeah, the trophies and Yahoo and all that shit. Uh, see, that's not gonna be good for me because especially back in the day, man. I think I was I, I'd take so many. You know what? I should save I, that. I, I should save that for the Superflex League because Rob wants to talk about stuff like that. You know, Rob, he likes that shit. So what do you got? What do you got to end it with, Phil? Uh, I was just trying to see. I was trying to get to it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right, let me see. So I just want to see some points for. Because typically this would be different, but you know I, I don't want you to get. Oh, uh-huh. see that's okay. This is this is not twenty. This ain't the same as. Check where where do you where are you at on most points or points scored? Where am I at? Uh, now yeah. I was probably like sixth or seventh. Eighth. Yeah. Now points against. I usually was number one, but I'm probably like sixth. You're fourth. Fourth. But then all of them are all of them are like between you and Terry is is a few points. Same with uh, Manny. So no, twenty. Right now it's right now it's D's team that's that's getting the uh, D and Izzy. And Izzy's still one one. They're they're well they're well ahead. Like uh, points against right now is. D is at 391 points. That's fucking crazy, dude. In two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's almost 200 points each play. Yeah. But, hey, say with Izzy, like 390. Yeah. Then third is Manny at 349. So but that's, see, a, but that's, my that's point. a 40-point difference. Izzy still had the Sheckman effect in week one. So I <laughs> scored high as fuck, but he scored more. So, uh, that's true. you know, it's like the – Let's you see. Know, let's see. Hey. <laughs> you're, I, hey, I, I hope I, I hope you're going where I think yeah. you're going. I don't know the stats, but I hope you're going where I think you're going. Go ahead. All right. So, you know who has the least points scored against them? Please tell me, Kenny. Him. Me. Oh, I thought you were going to laugh about. It. That's why he's two and zero. Oh. Two hundred. Two hundred. Oh, Kenny. Kenny's two. I'm one. It's oh. two hundred forty-eight points versus three hundred seventy-seven. Jesus. So you have the highest point total and the lowest scored against you. Fucking bullshit. Right. That's that's the perfect combination. So my guys are due to be hurt. I'll get 100 points. He'll score 210. Great. Book it. And that's what made me laugh earlier when Chris was like, oh, well, look at Filter's opponents. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm the fucking highest score point scorer in this league. I was, who gives a fuck about opponents? Yeah, it, that, that wouldn't really matter at that point. No. Nah, it doesn't. Yeah. All right, guys. It's uh, been real. I got to get into doing some editing um, so I can get this posted. Um all the thing hey, is, hey, is, you want to you want to add you you want to add you want to do something fun right now, Sheckman? I was going to debate this. You want to do something fun? Yeah. While Gary's here, yeah. Because I know Gary is my big, biggest critic. You want to end this? You, so to make everybody, I don't know if they'll fast forward it. You want to negotiate a trade right here, right now, on the podcast with <laughs> Gary sitting in? We'll let him end we, this we one. Could, we could do trade talks. Uh, what'd you say, Gary? Let them end this one, and you can do trade talks. Yeah, we'll do trade. We'll we'll move it into a separate one, so that way this one can be a little bit shorter. Because I gotta I gotta find a platform to be able to get it out to everybody. Okay. All right. I might just do it on my. I might just start a YouTube channel that's just going to be because uh, I have another YouTube channel that I used to use that will just be our fantasy football shit. And if people watch it, they do. If it's only us, then fuck it. It's only us. So. Uh, I wanted to do. I wanted to do it with with Gary right there. Just. No, this we're going to do this bonus. with Gary. Gonna, oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, I'm just ending bonus. this one. Yeah, give me okay. a second. Yeah, we're going to make a call. All right. All right, guys. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and listening. Um, if you want to know more about our Fantasy Football League, go ahead and uh, ask us questions below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Until then, we won't. Well, he won't. I will. <laughs> Until then, later. Got to climb to the top, but we're never going to stop. When the low, yeah, we're going high. We're going high.